and and somebody who came from the military, like I fit all the things. I'm a minority. I'm Asian. I'm half Korean. Um, I'm a veteran. I'm 100% service connected disabled. So I fit all the categories. What does that mean? 100% service connected disabled. So it means I'm. T- it's called total and permanent, which I am. It means I'm 100% disabled according to the Veteran Affairs Office, but also I'm total and permanent, which means you can't. Like right now, if a veteran is, let's say, 100% disabled or 90% disabled, it's a weird system. You go in and you get your annual checkup. They could evaluate you and reduce your overall compensation and say, you're not 90 now, you're 60. And based be, on, based on, they could say your hearing is better than it was last time. You know, you, you picked up a couple decibels and we are going to reduce your pay and compensation and reduce your disability. So, um, in the military, if you're a hundred percent total and permanent, it means they can't screw with you. So how are you 100% total and permanent? So they do a formula. It's weird. Um, Veterans Affairs is a weird one. But uh, when I got out of the military, they did a formula. And they interview you. They do mental, physical checks. They do all the diagnostics, hearing, all that stuff. And when they evaluate you, they say, okay, your, your left ear sucks. So we're going to give you a rating. And it's like 40% or 25%. Like I got sleep apnea. That's a percentage. When they when they add it all together and sum it up, it could be over a hundred percent. Mine's like two hundred plus percent when they've added everything, and then they go, okay, then you're a hundred percent service connected, disabled, total and permanent, which means they can't evaluate you and reduce your compensation or or your stuff. So, um, me for example, I am a hundred percent service connected, but I'm also I have TBI and post-traumatic stress because of that TBI, which is kind of what I wanted. Um, This is a weird one, but if you talk to a military guy, uh, an Andy Stumpf, um, all these guys that are are buddies of mine, when they come out of the military, especially in special operations, they don't want to say they're disabled or they have a problem or they have post-traumatic stress. So I don't know if this is luckily, but I think it's better TBI because the symptoms of traumatic brain injury happen to be the same as post-traumatic stress They could label you as having that my concern, which is a concern even today um, If they label me with PTSD and said you're hundred percent connected because you have PTSD We're gonna take away your guns So the red flag oh. laws and all that scare the hell out of me and and a lot of veterans when I when I went into the veteran affairs for my evaluation it was in Texas, in San Antonio. And I walked into uh, the office, and there was a long hallway, and there were dudes in the co- doing construction in the hallway. And I heard a loud bang behind me as I entered the room. And the doctor was looking at me, and I turned around and was like, what was that? And just turned around. Like, y- you do that to noises, yeah. especially bangs. And I turned back around, and she goes, a little jumpy, are we? And I was oh, like, Jesus oh, shit. Christ. Like, here we go. And they, we did the interview, and they asked questions like, have you been in combat? Yes. Have you killed people? Yes. Have you seen dead bodies? Yes. How many dead bodies have you seen? Hundreds. Well, we find that hard to believe. Like, what? Straight up. Well, so they're, they're challenging whether or not you've, a person who's actually been to combat, whether or not you've seen X amount of bodies? A hundred percent. I find that hard to believe? hundred percent. Holy shit. The, the biggest- What it, does that feel like when it, someone's it, questioning you like that? It, it was the most disgusting thing. I, I almost got up and walked out. That, that was the psychologist evaluation. When I got my physical eval, it was um, a, a gentleman who was a veteran. Most of the guys are veterans. They served in some capacity. So they get it. They understand. But they're used to dealing with shitheads. And, and I want to be careful because there are guys who suffer from post-traumatic stress. There's dudes who get blown up. There's dudes that go through a lot. But the reality is most people who serve in combat, combat don't do so at what I would call the tip of the spear. They're not in the front lines. They're not involved in continuous combat. They might have one rotation. So most of what they see are people who have maybe gotten blown up, maybe not even been to combat. They have the, you know, they're, they're, the fear of impending doom has created Mm. this trauma inside of them. And then they get, they want disability. And you know, I'm not judging because some of those guys do. I know some of those guys, 
but they're not used to a guy who has an uh, an experience in combat where they volunteered for it, they wanted it, and they did years of it. So when I talked to the guy and he physically evaluated me, he's like, um, so uh, move your neck because mobility is a part of the equation. And I couldn't move my neck a certain way. And he goes, ah, I find that hard to believe. You can't move your neck more than that. I'm like, um, I'm, I'm injured. And he goes, well, let's talk about the history of wh- where you've been. And I started lining out my combat time. And he's like, oh, this is different. He goes, well, who'd you serve with? And I was like, I was a Green Beret. I'm like, oh, okay. So how many years in combat? Yeah, four years in combat. Oh, okay, well, this is different. And he almost like shifted and almost apologized to me because he's like, hey, man, I'm used to seeing garbage. Oh, okay, so they're used to people that are trying to like kind of scam the system a little bit so they don't have to work again. Yes, yeah. Yeah, but to, yeah. just to challenge you on that that way, I find that hard to believe. Yeah. Like I find it hard to believe you can't move your neck. Like, bitch, yeah. you don't know my neck. I know. It's like so crazy yeah. that, that they would immediately go to that. Yeah, and there are, there are some VAs that are better than others. I would say, I will say this about San Antonio especially. Um, I went to counseling because they're like, hey, you need to go to these counseling sessions. And I had a counselor who was a Vietnam veteran who lost his legs in combat. And he was a long range surveillance guy. So he's a combat arms guy like me. Immediately we had rapport because I respected what he said. Um, And I I trusted him because we had this uncommon, unspoken uh, experience. And he helped me through some shit. And that was beneficial for me. But there are places throughout the country that don't give two shits about veterans. They're checking the block. It's impossible to fire a GS. We, we know that, uh, historically speaking. From GS? The, uh, a government service um, employee. Um, like the guys who, were get, who got caught, like um, they were GS civilians and they were doing vacations and all these different things. None of those dudes got fired during all this controversy. Uh, Wounded Warrior was involved in some controversy over some, some stuff. None of these guys in the the GS realm, when it comes to uh, veteran affairs, the system, are being held accountable, and so the system's still broken. I mean, I I went there recently, and was dumbfounded. Every time I go in there, it's depressing because it's uh, it, they're not mm. doing a good job. I just would imagine how infuriating it would be for someone to tell you that they don't they find it hard to believe how many bodies you've seen. Yeah, yeah, and and and. So if they're used to seeing ninety nine point nine percent of the people they talk to, yeah, are saying I've never seen a dead body or I saw one, and I say hundreds, I get it. You know these people yeah. are like, they're like, what? That's impossible. But I would say there's a big um, discrepancy of understanding of combat period and what the top one percent see. 